Good evening, everybody. Tonight we're doing a f the frequency scan version on a UV25, the beast. Um, so, as you can see, I have the UV25 here and my old faithful, my first ever radio I ever bought, UV5RT, uh, which I still use. And its battery life is, well, it's still phenomenal. <clears throat> anyway, straight into it. So, let's turn on the UV25. Welcome. Channel mode. And we turn on UV5R. Frequency mode. Okay. <clears throat> right, now to get the UV25 into the into the frequency search mode, you just use the top button here, that one right there. Just above the PTT. And you push and hold it. If you just push it and release it, um, we'll do the newer channels. Okay. Off. But you have to push and hold it. And now you'll see at the bottom here it's gone search and it's searching for UHF signals. Now to change that you just need to push the little uh, hash key down here or number sign depending on where in the world you are. And as you see it'll change it to VHF and change it to 200. And back to UHF again. <clears throat> right, so as you see in my 5R, I have 147.42. So I'm going to set the UV25 to VHF. And let's click on the button here, yeah, the transmit button. Bear in mind these frequencies have already been programmed, so I've already set my call sign out. So let's press it and hold it. And there you go. As you can see, it picked it up within about four to five seconds, I think it is. It detected 147.44125, and it was it was broadcasting at 147.42. So there must be some sort of give and take here, uh, depending on how well each of the radios is calibrated. And you can see, it's also picked out the fact that I have a DCS tone on that channel. Uh, D114N. So let's just make sure that is correct. So if we go into the menu on this and we go to DCS. Ah, uh, oh, there it is. Transmit DCS of D114N. So that's working. Now, if you want to save that, you just push the home button and it'll ask you where you want to save it. And then you just push save again. So I'm not going to do it because I've already got my this radio channel. Sorry, this this radio program with the channels I want. But that's how you set it. So let's go back into the search function. Okay, we're still going to stay on UHF this time. Oh no, let's go to 200. Sorry, so I've already got it on the radio here. Yeah, it does seem to be a a glitch here where it doesn't always change to there we go 200 <clears throat> anyway so the two uh, is 223.49 so let's do transmit interesting it's not working Now then, that is very, very interesting. As this is a, this is a UV5R, which has been, I've told it to broadcast in the 200 range, just using Chirp, and it's a very old version. I mean, sorry, very old version of the radio. Obviously not broadcasting on 223. Uh, so, it's, I will jump, I will pause the video in a second, and I will go and get my UV5RH, and we'll try it on that one. So for now, let's jump to UHF. So on here, let's pop in a UHF frequency. Let's uh, put four, four, six, uh, seven, zero. Seven, zero. <clears throat> so it's 446.170 and transmit. Uh, 
and you can see it's got 4461675 and there's that DCS code again because it's and you remember when you're in VFO mode it maintains the settings for that VFO channel so if we go in here there it is the DCSS is there so I could change it and we could turn it off uh, yeah, we'll just turn it off Confirm. okay so the DCS is off again now if we want it to scan again we just tell it to push that button again and release oh let's change to VHF again there's another way to do it anyway whatever uh, so back on the UHF 446170 And as you can see, this time it didn't find any channel. So just give me a second, I'm going to go and back my UE5RH. Okay, I'm back and I have my UV5RH, so let's just turn this little guy off. Get the RH here. Uh, right, so let's get out of the AM band and we need to be on, what channel was I going to use? Oh yeah, I was going 2, 2, 3, 4, 9, 0. 2, 2, 3, 4, 9, 0. Let's go into the 200 on here. I wonder if anybody else has this issue where it doesn't... Uh, it takes a few seconds to change to the 200. There we go. So this is two three, sorry, two two three four nine zero. Let's transmit. And as you can see, it found it, and there's no tone attached to it. So let's change that. Menu. Let's add a tone to it. I can't remember what the tone, what the quick jump to the tone is. Oh dear me, come on. Looks like I've gone the wrong way. <laughs> right. Oh, that's, there's the scanning functions for this. But this is a separate radio, so I'm not going to do this one. So let's uh, turn on transmit CTCSS. Let's do 254.1 hertz. Okay, and we go back into here. <laughs> well, that's a firmware thing. Either way, you can't reprogram it anyway. Okay, there we go. So we're looking for 223.49 with a CTCSS. So let's have a look. And transmit. There we go. So it's 223.48875 it found. Close enough. And it found the CTCSS of 254.1 hertz. So there you go. That's simply how the search function works. I mean, you'd find this useful... If you've got a friend or something that has a radio program, that maybe it's like one of the, uh, the the 888s, I think it is, or a GMRS, or a um, FRS, or a PMR, depending on which part of the world you are, and you're not too sure what they're using and what tone they're using, you can just have this radio sitting next to it, they can transmit, you tell it to search, and it'll tell you. Anyway. That's the frequency search function on the UV25 Beast. Right, yeah, back again. Um, I thought it was a bit odd that my um, UV5R wouldn't do it, considering it worked the other day. And I found out it's the, because of this crappy, fake Nagoya I've got here, the fake 771. Um, so I've put the stock aerial back on. So let's just show you how that's working. Frequency mode. Let's go into search function UHF we want the 200 
Seems like you've got to press it a little bit longer there. Anyway, so we're on a uh, we're on 223.490, so let's transmit. There we go. So it's 223.48625. But yeah, so my little UV5R is working good. Anyway, yeah, this is just a clip on to the end of the video. Once again, have a good night all. Bye-bye.